Ah, the Dell XPS Developer Edition laptop. It's one of those pieces of hardware you cannot possibly appreciate until you've actually used it. So when Dell reached out to me about the next iteration of the Ubuntu Edition, I couldn't resist saying yes. After a few short days, the package arrived and I unboxed the laptop, assuming angels from on high would sing a few bars of GF handle as the hardware was slipped free from its cardboard sleeve. That didn't occur. Worse things have happened with an unboxing. But what about this laptop makes it so special? Let's take a look. The top of the case, wrist rests and keyboard edges, is made of a rubberized carbon fiber that is not only glorious to behold, but incredible to use. And not only does the surface feel great to work with, you get zero fingerprints and smudges. For those that care about the look of their hardware, that addition to detail will raise a lot of eyebrows. Once you get beyond the feel of that surface, the next feature to blow you away is the display. 13.3-inch FHD 1920x1080 Infinity Edge display is gorgeous. The bezel on this thing is a slight one-eighth of an inch thick, so it practically disappears while using the device. And the colors are crisp and amazingly clear. Don't expect Retina display levels of clarity, but the XPS is probably the closest you'll find to the Apple Gold Standard. Dell nailed the keyboard. Plain and simple. With the disaster that has become the MacBook Pro butterfly keys and the demise of the Chromebook Pixel, the world has been waiting for a new de facto standard keyboard, and the XPS Developer Edition might well be just that. These keys have the perfect action for anyone that spends more than the average amount of time hammering away at the keyboard. But the XPS keys aren't just all about the action. They feel solid, like they could last for years, all the while shrugging off dirt and debris and mocking the Apple butterfly keys. Of course, looks will only get you so far. A laptop is only as good as the platform it runs on, and the edition I was sent is powered by Ubuntu 18.04. Ubuntu boots quickly and works like a champ. Apps open swiftly, and everything runs with a level of stability you won't find in the other offered platform. And considering you're probably developing with Linux or open source in mind, the Ubuntu version of the XPS is the ideal platform. It's also one of the reasons you might find yourself slightly frustrated. The Dell XPS Developer Edition perfectly illustrates one of the biggest problems Linux has in the laptop space, the trackpad. Out of the box, the trackpad works fine, but with a piece of hardware as outstanding as the XPS, the trackpad should be more than just fine, it should be brilliant. One way around this issue is by installing Fusuma. However, even that tool isn't ideal, nor is it a straightforward installation. The Dell XPS Developer Edition laptop has been one of the finest Linux laptop experiences I have ever had. Dell has easily rivaled System76 in creating a laptop that works beautifully with Linux while offering hardware that easily exceeds anything System76 offers in the laptop realm. If the Linux community can perfect the trackpad, all the while not stepping over Apple multi-touch gesture patents, this laptop would easily be my go-to for everyday usage.